I just wanted to say hi to the preparedness community and take a moment to jump on here and talk a bit about our working can pantry and just point out a couple of things that we found that we really like and then also get some suggestions from you guys. Okay, so um, this pantry is stuff that we're regularly going through on a day-to-day -day basis and yeah, there's a lot of cans in there. So uh, we do share it with other people so that the cans get rotated and that they don't go bad. We do make our own salad dressing in this house, but it's super easy to have a couple of these uh, ready-made salad dressings because if they go on some beans and veggies, it makes a really quick bean salad. So we do always have these. Posted another video about this Nam miso gravy. If you ever have a chance to find it, it's so good for roasted veggies or roasted potatoes. I just love this stuff and it is made here locally in Vancouver. Another item of note are these Italian one pot risottos or these Italian one pot um, mushroom pastas. Found these at Granville Island at one of the Italian stores there, but these are so great. They require very little work. You just add water and some oil and some Parmesan cheese. They're really tasty. Super envious of any American friends who have access to Trader Joe's. We don't in Canada, but we are going to the United States tomorrow. So we're going to do a bit of a checkout of some stores down there. Um, but anyways, this falafel mix is so good. It's so easy and it's such a nutrient dense meal. So if you haven't tried it, grab it. Do keep anything loose in our cupboards in little containers and I am going to do a video about how I organize my home because I like all the cupboards to be perfectly organized. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, it is coming up. So we keep lots of canned fruit in the house. Um, we do grow fruits and veggies here, but it is a good backup. And for us, any brand works. Uh, we just prefer that it's the one in the juice concentrate. If you shop at Costco, this mango chutney is really good and really um, inexpensive in my opinion. And Trader Joe's again, this is one of my favorite Trader Joe's items, the Thai green curry simmer sauce. Has anyone tried this? I love putting this over vegetables. It's so good. Always interested in grabbing six bean medleys, throwing a couple of chopped veggies and onions in there and some dressing and just making a really quick, easy bean salad. I love making pizza sauce. So we have lots of tomatoes. We have diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, whole tomatoes, and tomato paste always in this house. I like to stock up on the tomato products because there have been lots of discussions about shortages of tomatoes. So it's a really good thing to have. If you shop at Costco, the lentil soups, Simply Green Soup, and the three bean vegetarian chili is really great. Has anybody tried this potato cheddar soup from Costco? Uh, 24 servings in this box. It was really affordable for us. So I'm looking forward to trying it. It's also dried and compact. I do hear a lot in the prepper community about the Hunt's sauces and just having them in the prepper pantry as a good base for other things. So when I do see these, I do grab them. I have noticed the Uncle Ben's rice available in most of the stores in this area of Western Canada. So it is something available to get. It's easy. We do like to make our rice meals more from scratch, but um, as an easy go-to item, these are pretty readily available to find. I used to work in a lot of remote fly-in camps up in the north and I put our meals together and one of the things I always thought was a lot of fun are these dried tortellinis. They're not easy to find. I found this on Vancouver Island. Um, they last a long time. They're really tasty. There's a lot of um, nutrient density for their size. So has anyone seen these in their area? If you do, I just highly recommend them. They're great. So thank you for taking a look at this working can pantry in our house. Uh, we do have our longer term storage and we're going to talk a lot more about that. So thanks for joining. And if you're interested in this type of thing, please do consider subscribing. Thank you.